Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Spirit and me, 1111. It's your girl star, that's 1111 here. <laughs> your first card is like, here I go. Ooh, sacrifice. Stardust 1111 here, doing your forecast. Um, tarot card reading with Oracle, probably mostly Oracle, not really sure yet for the sign of Leo um, for May 2020. We have a planet card already. I like to get a planet in the house and a zodiac card, so we'll see. I do like to shuffle as I get your spill, so I'm not using too much of our time here. So, uh, tarot's timers, these are events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that can unfold for some of you guys here to planet cards in the near future all right one more card from the astrology pet three planet cards never gotten three planet cards so we'll see what we get here the sun we got leo your energy hey <laughs> there you go venus this is libra and taurus energy and vesta okay the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet quiet dignity some of you guys are being very reserved right now, but it's kind of like you're tapping into your higher self here with this energy. It's very high priestess-like energy. It's about ascending, um, becoming in tune and in touch with the Akashic Records, the infinite storehouse of information that exists um, on a quantum level. It's something that's always available to us, but you don't begin to tap into that and to get into that goddess energy until you begin to awaken and to ascend. Then you step into that beautiful Vesta goddess energy, All right? Definitely very spiritual here. Definitely someone that is shining light on their spirituality right now and working on yourself and it could have come through a point of sacrifice. We will get into your sacrifice card after I get your astrology part of the reading out of the way. So... We have Vesta to me. She's very indicative to your self-sacrifice energy here, spirituality. Um, Venus, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables here. Um, something around your sacrifice has to do with your spirituality, but you're gaining through this. is something that's going to put you in a very abundant place, make you feel happy, give you life, vitality of life. This could be a renewal of your life, but with the sun here, this is something that you were fated for that was destined and divine for you and just for you in this path. And because Venus is the beautiful goddess that is looking over you at this point in time in your life, I'm going to tell you that all is well when the sun is out. And even more than that, with Venus being abundant, with blessings and infinite and um, very fertile with ideas for business, for success. This is about um, being fertile, ready to grow and glow your life, have children. The sun is about children. It's indicative to your family, things that you create that you're proud of. And we're all proud when we create life, right? We're procreating. Here. So for some of you guys, you are definitely having children here with someone that you may sacrifice for. And it's a very spiritual connection is what I am getting. Okay. Good energy, spirit. Thank you so much for that for the Leo. So let's get your sacrifice card read here. Card number seven from the Dark Mirror Oracle. At this time, I would like to focus on what our shadow sides are, our energies and the things that we hold back. So your card here is sacrifice. And we have about three or four different languages here. <laughs> Stick to English, spirit. So it's sacrifice. It's, um, I have accepted my duty and in my release, I found freedom. Going dark, this card reads, there is a strong power in sacrifice. Our fears, our hopes, they are all chains to a small world. Our sense of self is a small petty creature of uncertain resolve and shaky horizons. With sacrifice, we renounce our self, our sense of self. We accept to be lost. We accept to be shaken and cut and bruised and hurt and burdened and locked and stricken and deprived and gossiped and betrayed and be misunderstood and be left alone to rot, to die with just words of thanks while the world goes on over our broken dreams. But when we drown our sense of self to sacrifice, we are also a greater person. We are screaming, I exist. I make the difference. We accepted a price to pay and we used our blood and tears as currency. That give us the right to stand tall. Hmm. Wow, that's deep <laughs> sacrifice. Some of you guys have sacrificed deeply for those around you with the sun here, your energy, Leo, just showing up in your reading, showing up and showing out. Look at you here because the sun rules Leo here. And um, you've made sacrifices for family. 
You've made sacrifices. Could have been dealing with a Leo or Taurus. Blah, 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 Libra or Taurus. It could have been another um, Leo like yourself. Here with that. Let's see what else Spirit wants us to know. I want to do a you versus them reading. I'll pull three cards each from Tarot and I will start you guys with some Romance Angels because with the sacrifice, I want to know if it's in love, you know, because a lot of you guys come here because you want your love readings. Spirit, if you will. Can you get some cards here for the... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'll give your relationship a chance of honeymoon. All right. So those cards just came out. <laughs> Let's get a card for your person here. I'm just going to read those cards as is. It's just energies because I didn't assign them to you or your person. I like to do a read for you. You're spreading cards here, your person here. And the mutual energy between you guys can um, start off with these two cards. They just fell out there. And I will take them because it's only two. And they do come out like that in a reading. It has a lot to do with your story. So I'm going to keep that for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, spirit, what messages from the romance angels do we have for Leo and the person that they're thinking about, the person on their mind, their love entrance, codependency on your side, true love on your person's side. So your codependency reads affections, addictions are affecting your romantic life. And that's like kind of um, the codependency. I read that card is also devil energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn too. It's about obsessions and codependency. So you could be a little um, obsessed with your person. Um, new love here on your side and you also have heart to heart conversations I didn't pull them this way it's just the way I've gotten them and I'm going to pull two more for your person obviously because you have three so you want to even it out here give your person three cards over here very soon true love on their side very soon you guys have true love and new love honeymoon between you two so possibility for marriages would you give this relationship a chance? You both want to give it a chance. That's the middle energy here between you and your person. Um, letting go of control issues. Ooh -wee. And that is very indicative to the codependency energy. So you guys are sort of mirroring each other. Now, um, on your side here, we have codependency, heart to heart conversations, and new love. And agrees. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Some of you guys have addictions, substance abuse issues. Codependency can be um a obsession with your person or your love interest some of you guys and just really really be obsessed with this person that's the energy i'm reading from you guys with the cards here and <laughs> not making things up so honeymoon and give your relationship a chance this is the mutual energies between you two and it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and um the give your relationship a chance is work on your partnership so right now, you guys may feel like you are like in the honeymoon phase with this quarantine. Some of you guys that are with your person that is not in separation are maybe working to try to strengthen the bond, taking this time right now to like kind of honeymoon each other again, like a retreat, being alone in your own energy and appreciating the moment in the relationship, you know, giving your relationship a chance for some of you, that bond is getting stronger. And um, it says true love on your personal side. This is the romance of a lifetime. This person feels like you are the one. You're the one that gives them life. You give life to this um, connection. You make them feel young and youthful again. And they feel very blessed and fortunate and abundant to have met you. And they see you as someone that they can marry and have children with. With the empress here and the son. You are wife material to this person. So very soon, Reese, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And also let go of co control issues. That's codependency on your side. That's the card I said was mirroring because um, codependency and the obsession can be control issues with the four of pentacles. That's a Capricorn energy and it depicts um, a guy, um, his feet is on a coin and then he's holding one and um, but he's holding two and like won't let go, just holding on really, really tight. That's this energy here. That's why I said Capricorn. So letting go of control issues, not wanting to control everything in the connection is um is what's urged here and needed in order for this situation to move forward allow the situation to unfold naturally is what that card reads very soon um clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and this person feels like it's a romance of a lifetime so very soon this person sees you as the one they want to come to they're working on letting go of their control issues right now when it comes to love and this connection with you because maybe your person in the past or currently now is just always feeling like they have to um 
do it all, be in control of it all and oversee it all. And, and that's not the way the universe works. That's not the way this connection is going to come into fruition for you and your person. So, Spirit, we get some tarot for the lovely, lovely Leos for their reading. It's going to be you versus them. I get some cards from this deck for the Divine Feminine Energy here, the Venus Energy. Loving that Leo has showed up in their own reading with that Sun card here. Very, very good. All is well when the Sun is out. That is the Ultimate Yes card. So this connection has a lot of potential for growth and abundance and children. It can even be honeymoon, marriage, you know, for this connection. All right, so let's get some cards for Leo, Spirit. On Leo's side, that one wants to come out nine of cups. <laughs> this wish your wish fulfilled, Leo. You feel like this person is your wish fulfilled. King of cups. Ooh, we uh, we got two cups here, nine of cups, ten of cups. You feel like this person is your wish fulfilled. Um, you're very much in love and smitten with this person. That king of cups energy, emotionally, emotional maturity. This is someone that is a lover, nurturer, um, a caretaker. This person. Um, in this energy be it you or your person because it can be you on this side them on this side but you may resonate more with the energy on your person side so if you need to swap sides here for your story totally go ahead and do that that's totally okay with me all right so nine of cups is about being in your wish fulfilled type of energy feeling like this is the one and like you know you're feeling really good and fortunate about this connection there's a lot of love here you have a lot of love to give some of you guys are working in healthcare right now so please do be safe out there with this quarantine and pandemic and everything that is going on so we have king of cups but nine of cups and new love here this is really showing me that you guys do have a connection that is really divine for you that is meant for you um, someone that you want to become in spiritual alignment with here with sacrifice this is something or someone that you can be in spiritual union with as well with that vesta energy here i'm saying two of wands as you have choices to make right now but either way you go on this path right now with venus here blessing your love you are headed in a good direction either way you go it's like um the world here in this card is depicted like the world is your oyster so gobble it up here the two is about partnerships it's about union to take an action right with the two of wands you've already felt the spark of that love that you want to create uh finances that you want to create for some of you this goes more to finances um queen of swords something or someone in the connection could have pissed you off or made you a little bitter I'm going to get one more card for you. I said three cards. I so never have to, never get to do it as I want to call it in the beginning. It just doesn't happen that way for me. <laughs> so I don't really plan that anymore. All right. So the two of wands and queen of swords. You're waiting for someone that cut you off or that you cut off in the past. Making a decision on whether you're going to continue with this person. With the two of wands here, you got to cut out something in your life that's not serving you. That's toxic. The queen of swords is um unbothered not bitter but she's been through a lot of situations that could have made her bitter but instead she used it to make her better this direct communication setting boundaries your queen of swords is air energy gemini libra aquarius all right cancer scorpio pisces with the water and two of wands aries leo sagittarius sorry if i did not call your signs out in the beginning um you're going to be moving with this person or to this person they're definitely on their way to you with a message because you were in separation here from this person knight of wands and four of swords here aries leo sash gemini libra aquarius so that's fast movement coming your way like i said this could be you going to towards your person to move in with them um with the nine of cups that could be a wish that's fulfilled because there's a lot of love here in the connection but there's you know there's been some bitterness there's been some harsh exchange here verbally and you just want to get to your person you have a lot of fire in you and you're just being really bold right now and moving into your queen of swords energy holding on and staying true to the message that you want to get across to your person if you're not doing that this is what you are needing to do to create that nine of cups type of energy that you seek that you are looking for out of this connection with your person because right now you guys are definitely in separation you're falling back right now so this is time to go in meditate um healing you're doing a lot of healing during this time as well four of swords could be someone down and ill taken to bed rest 
hopefully none of you guys have an immediate family member who is down from the corona because that could very well be it it could be dialysis it could be chemo but the four of swords is you being in separation and away from your person but with what's going on i do have to read this card um for what it is and four of swords is very indicative to something someone being down and ill let's get a deck for your person hopefully you're okay leo this card may fall on your side or you have someone really really close to you in that energy or this could just be you separated from your person um do let me know down below if you choose to do that uh, if that is your message if that part resonates with you or not so all right <laughs> your person's first card nine of pentacles okay you could be dealing with a virgo leo a nine of pentacles that's venus and virgo so she's showing up here with virgo like this is what you get when you have venus and virgo since venus is so loving and caring and nurturing and abundant this is self-love this is being single and independent working on your coin being very alluring and attractive because the empress does not pursue or chase she simply attracts here so you're definitely in your empress energy here leo working on yourself being very attractive you know letting things come to you enjoying life in the moment enjoying your time and your shine and you could even be an entrepreneur or owning your own business here that's what your person sees you as this is the way you show up to them <laughs> okay or they could be this themselves but i get strong energy that this is how this person sees you and they want to take you on. They want to learn as much as they can about you. They want to come towards you and to be like, give you this offer, that page of pentacles. That is a solid, tangible offer. And it's also this person wanting to get to know you. And then we have the ace of wands here. As I was going to shuffle, I peeped that guy out. So, yeah, definitely going to take that. Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. With those pentacles, the person sees your value and sees what you're worth. And because of that, you have created and sparked this passion inside of this person this desire this person has a strong sexual attraction towards you when the ace of wands and the star shows up so you have a wish being fulfilled on your side and your person also has a wish i'll show you their cards in a minute Ooh, ten of pentacles and the strength you're here again leo showing out <laughs> your strength is here leo courageous strength wow okay so your person sees you as very fiery attractive alluring can't get enough of you this person wants to get their hands on you wants to get a hold of you um the ace of wands here with the nine of pentacles some of and ten of pentacles some of you guys can be going into your own business starting your own business here with that venus energy she is blessing your finances and your business right now as well as your love because that's what she is about and it is a wish fulfilled for you you can be dealing with an aquarius here as well leo but um, the star card is about healing again. You're healing on your side. Your person healing on their side. You both definitely have some healing energy going on here. With the stars aligning for you in due time. Things being divinely timed. Your person is working on their pentacles. Your person is in a ten of pentacles mindset. And is taking a lot of time aside to build up to the place that they feel worthy of it. Because with this strength card, it's about courage and a person you know building up the courage to come towards you like on your side you got the knight of wands energy because maybe you're moving too close to your person or they could be coming into you because the energies can be interchangeable here but i see it as this this person is not moving right now they're not making a move towards you at this moment with that four of swords energy because they just they don't have they don't feel that they are courageous enough right now to approach you. This person is working on their coins. This person is wanting to create that ten of pentacles. This is a prosperity and abundance, like at the top of his or her game as far as what they're accomplishing for themselves right now. Being in that nine of pentacles type energy, this is someone who's very hardworking and it takes relationships very serious. So as you see them as a wish fulfilled or a dream come true, they have that same energy for you. Nine of cups and the star card. Okay. Good energies, spirit. Okay, I want my big deck for this. I'm going to get the mutual energies between you two, you and your person. Leo. Mutual energy spirit for Leo and Leo's person. They're thinking about who is on their mind. Mutual energies. Please and thank you. Lovely spirit. <laughs> All right, so we have 
Ten of Water, Ten of Cups, Ooh, B, Justice, that's Libra Energy, that's more Venus Energy here as well, and Eight of Fire, you guys have Ten of Cups Energy here, this is like justice and love, this is like getting balanced out, having the scales being balanced out from everything that wasn't fair, everything that you went through in the past, coming into this justice energy here for you guys, um, the justice here is fair and just decisions, do it, you know, it's right and stand up for your beliefs, and it's definitely what you're doing here with this queen of swords type of energy, you know, that's that Libra energy again, you're definitely standing up, being firm, direct, setting those boundaries and having direct communication about your needs and what you need from this connection moving forward. Ten of Cups is um, a contended and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, you're definitely manifesting a lot of be beginnings with a lot of endings, but you're headed towards your tens. This means you're completing. This means you're being fulfilled. This means that your cup is being filled with abundance, prosperity, you know, in many different forms at this point in your life. Eight of fire for you and your person. There's a lot of communication back and forth that you guys want. Um, events moving in at a fast place and delays are over. Many things are going to be happening at once in this connection. Once you begin to um, talk with your person, when you come out of the separation that you are in, there's going to be a lot of justice. It's going to come through the communication that you guys have long been wanting to have. You're going to find out that you both want that 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles type of connection that your person sees you as abundant and an empress as someone that can give them life, be a wife and give them children that they definitely want to be with and have a lot of fashion but <laughs> i tried to i said fashion <laughs> i meant to say fire and passion and i made a word of spirit a lot of fire desire and passion for you and towards you and the connection which is just beautiful that's what you want you want your person to be held crazy about you you know not too crazy that you got to file a restraining order shit but you know crazy enough that uh it just gives you that the tingles you know those skin jingles you get being around your person like you know that's what we want. Or air again. You guys are definitely in separation here. Time to rest and take a vacation. Allow time before making a decision. Meditation may provide many answers here. With that four of air, leave Aries. A lot Aries. Looking at the ace of wands, thinking Aries, but I'm saying the four of air, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> Clear that up. The four of cups. You guys are bored right now. You're in separation and being away from each other is boring you both out. And you got two fours here. This is definitely synchronicity. Four and four is all as well. You know, um, the universe supports you in this connection. So everything you do moving towards this person is divinely guided. And the universe is here supporting you, showing up as the strength, this angel of strength and courage is with you, guiding you and encouraging you to move towards your passions and your heart's desires because if you only knew what was on this side of courage once you step over and you begin to pursue that that it is that you are wanting it's going to be a wish fulfilled type of moment for you with that nine of cups on your side and that star card on your person's side you both are very much wanting to be in each other's company and presence and that's what makes you happy and that's what you wish for and dream for right now so anything else that's happening in your 3d experience right now it's like um missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom um person's not wanting to open their eyes to possibilities because you're the only thing your person sees and the energy is the same that's mutual energy between you and your person to a fire again more to a wands energy so it's like you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward with this venus is blessing you here so when you have venus blessing you and the universe giving you that nudge and telling you to move forward to push through then right now you just need strength and courage and time to yourself to meditate to work on and think of your next plan because you've made a lot of sacrifice and there still may be sacrifice ahead of you to make before you even come into this abundance so be open and ready for the road ahead of you and follow the signs and synchronicities of your angels and your spirit team and guys because that's what they are there for any more messages spirit for the leo any more messages the high priestess inner knowing here this is about listening to your intuition and have patience consider carefully what you want before acting in this energy so definitely consider what you want before acting because your person here that wants a fresh new start with you and has an offer for you a tangible offer with the page of pentacles here that's a good news coming about career about finances it could be as tangible to you as um 
a person you could physically touch and love, like a lover, is coming very soon here on their side. That's your person's energy. Okay, spirit. So I'm going to get you guys energy oracle card here. Energy oracle. Spirit. Energy oracle card for the lovely, lovely sign of Leo. Energy oracle for the lovely, awesome sign of Leo. We'll do a May 2020 reading, although all my readings are timeless, but I will stamp this for May. Um, rest and rejuvenation. <laughs> Guys, four of swords twice, three times. Matter of fact, four of air. Yeah, we got that three times, guys. Y'all guys are definitely in separation and the universe is like, fall back. Just fall back right now. That's all that is needed in this situation is for you to just fall back. Fall back. Four of air. <laughs> Okay, Four of Air, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, same card. Rest in rejuvenation. That's that Four of Swords type of energy. Some of you guys, the time that you are taking apart right now is the time that is needed because this is going to show you that nothing or no one else um, is going to resonate on the same level and frequency as this person's energy when it comes to you this is a divine counterpart and it's like a wish fulfilled right now so this time apart it's like really really doing something to you you know <laughs> so all right let's get you guys your romance abundance card that's card number three i'm going to read that directly from the book beautiful energy for you guys thank you spirit for that lovely message that we sure need Okay, blossom in abundance, increasing wealth and value. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like the fruit on the tree above. Upright, this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dynamic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blossoming results take hold. All right? So this is telling you that you have good things on the horizon. You are planting the seeds right now that is beginning to grow as long as you nurture and water, show up like Venus and be abundant and take care of things on your side. Then you will manifest that 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles type of energy and connection is going to be guided to you and is divine for you. This union is also protected with the strength angel here. It is a protected union, so very, very good energy there. And before I go into the Kipper, I would like a Queen of the Moon Oracle here for you Leos. Let's see what Moon talk energy, All right? The Void. <laughs> Guys are in the Void. Of course, we're in the Void in the path. Yeah, the Void in the path. Eight and one. It can be a life path number for some of you guys. I like that eight showed up because eight is definitely the number about abundance. Here we have faith. I'm going to take it because I look. Can I get one more card? All right. What messages? Last message from the Queen of the Moon Oracle for the Leo. Fear. <laughs> So we don't want fear. What's on the other side of fear? Courage. What's on the other side of fear? <laughs> Strength. What's on the other side of fear? Courage. When you put your fear aside, when you realize the beautiful goddess that you are, the divine being that you incarnated to be in this experience like that of Venus manifests in the physical all right, I say AKA Mother Gaia, but this is any divine feminine who embodies this energy, who knows and feels that you are worthy at that time when it's introduced to you. Stand in your power, stand in your strength, and be the person you were created to be. The universe has your back and is supporting you on this mission and in this quest, on your journey right now. All it is requiring is that you have faith because you're in gestation phase. Some of you guys can literally be pregnant by your person. Or have a baby and you're waiting for a little one to be born. Congratulations. If this is being pregnant with ideas because you're so abundant, you attract abundant opportunities to you. And then you give birth to new ideas, to new cycles, to new things. You do have that sun card here, which is your own energy 
Leo. But again, that sun represents new life and a vitality with the Venus energy, the Empress being very pregnant, abundant, and fertile here. Some of you guys are definitely having a baby with your person, and that's one of your forms of abundance that is coming through the manifestation of the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles type of energy. Congratulations, guys. Right now, it is a void, fourth source type of moment being away from your person. It's like dark night of the soul. You feel lonely, cold, and alone, but this too shall pass, all right? Um, the path right now is calling out to you. The portal is opening into spirituality. You have the rite of passage right now with the angels of the strength and the star here guiding you on your side and giving you signs and synchronicities. Um, the universe wants you to know, Leo, that you are never alone on this path, although you may only see yourself there are many different spirits and and angels and stars around you you see orbs of light or get certain synchronicities those are angels birds um, butterflies there's many different um omens and totems that can manifest to you in the physical to let you know that you're not on your path alone so begin to look for signs from relatives past parents someone that loves you a lot and wants to get messages to you because that energy is here any more messages for leo for there Beautiful reading. Lovers. Ooh, Gemini. Divine. Faded. Look at that. This is true love. Lovers. Blossoming. Abundance. <laughs> this is, wow. This person could have another person that they are dealing with or seeing on the side, but there's really nothing here about a third party because that card could indicate a third party or an ultimatum in love. But I'm telling you, that is just here because you are like knocking your person's socks off. <laughs> this person is coming from a place that they didn't always have. They didn't always have, so they're working and growing their coins. It's working hard. Some of these people have had a very challenging life in the past. And all of a sudden, they come into their own. They take up this page of pentacles. Some of this um, wealth has been acquired through school, higher education, and learning with that page of pentacles type of energy here. Uh, this is painting out to me and we will go extend it and visit this false person but through hard work and sacrifice and not giving up here you've come from kind of a rags to a riches or your person or this relationship your spiritual path your journey is taking you to new heights you're ascending to new levels of consciousness and this is going to introduce this venus energy to you and into your life that is going to unlock this abundance code for you and you're going to be very very abundant because of that sudden wealth windfalls of cash money coming out of the blue it could be lottery winnings inheritances this can come in many forms but there is a false person somewhere close to you in this experience i'm going to go over to vimeo and extend this i'm starting off with this false person card we are going to address this we will be exploring the balance of your tarot card reading um what's at hand past influences what to do and what to ponder on as well as address this false person. Thank you all so much. Links are down below in the description box. Do join me over on Vimeo. I love you so, so much, everybody. Namaste.